Welcome back to the basement, the, the friendliest, friendliest place, place on YouTube. YouTube. Today we're going to be journeying back into the Rodania Volcano. That's right, Ted. We're going into the hot area of Hyrule and uh, rescuing a dude from the Northern Mine and using him as cannon ammo. Let's go. So here we are in the hot pit of uh, this place. The southern Mine? Yeah, looking for... Come back uh, here. Oh, don't lose him. Oh, I he ran away. We're picking up... We're... we're Grabbing as many fireproof lizards as we possibly can. Guys, here. Ted went eight for eight off camera, and then we started recording, and he, <laughs> and I he missed felt the, first the need to one. show off. No, I didn't see it until I didn't see it until it was running. <laughs> you're like a you're like a seven year old when the babysitter comes over, and you're well behaved until the babysitter gets. And there, then you and just then you get crazy flipping it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, talk to that guy. Ooh. So How's we realize that we do not have uh, the full set of armor that we need for this hot environment. All we have is the pants. And this came from very early on in our series where we ran up Death Mountain naked with nothing but food to heal ourselves. No <gasps> fire elixirs. And uh, this guy wants some fireproof lizards. If you give I, him 10, he gives us a helmet. I think he's going to give us that helmet. Isn't the helmet the most expensive piece of the armor anyway? Or wait, maybe you think you're going to get the helmet because he's wearing it. And then he ends up giving you something else. It's worth a try. Nine. Oh, don't scare that. I didn't know it was going to scare it. I don't know. Lizards are afraid of rocks. <laughs> Just set the rock down. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. Don't it. run up to them. I'm not. Oh. I was running up to the point where I was going to not run. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> Just look at this. See? I got to sneak down, bro. Yeah. One, two. I have too many. All right, let's talk to this guy. See if we can <laughs> get ourselves Come back. equipped. Fireproof lizards, you actually made to chase down ten of those suckers. Well, the deal's a deal. Hand them over. I'll give you this heat-resistant armor. Okay. Uh. Oh, what's he give us? Oh, oh he, he gave, gave us, us the, the armor. Okay. okay. Not the helmet. Huh? Hmm? You wanted the helmet? Something the matter? My helmet? Sorry, it ain't for lending. It's too expensive for that. Uh, to get to Goron City, head north. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Friends from Monster Parts. Fireproof elixirs to boot. Yeah, we know. We know all about that. Yay! We completed the side quest. All right, Goron City. You Sh could. You could. Hook I it think up we there. could. Let's see if we can make some money to like selling some stuff and see if we can get the the, the, the helmet. helmet. Let's see. Because we do need all three, right? Uh, maybe, but it wouldn't hurt. It, it's not gonna hurt. Well, when I when I played it in my personal file, I used all three. So. I used all three too. So we're just gonna do that. You used all I think 32? it's Three, yeah, two, all thirty-two, all yeah. thirty-two of them. We got a ways to go, guys. We got twenty-nine <laughs> more to get. You guys, did you have a good uh, holiday season? Oh yeah, it's the uh, so this is the long, dreary part of winter between um, the holidays and spring. Uh, unless you're in a different part of the world, and this is the long, wet part of the year called the rainy season. Yeah, but we're in the hot area of uh, Hyrule here for all the our cold weather basement dwellers. Oh, this is nice and cozy. Yeah, it feels like a uh, where's that store? Caribbean uh, vacation in the middle of winter, which is is that the armor store there? Well needed. I don't know. Yeah, there's a shirt. It's the shirt store. It's the shirt store. Well, we have a shirt. Okay. What Let's is see how this, much this bad boy? Is two thousand? I think we can do this. What are you basing that on? Um, basing Optimism? on the fact that we have two diamonds and other things. So diamonds are 500 apiece anyway. Right? All two of oh. them. All! <laughs> so all of them? Bam. Okay, we're close. Uh, instant trivia. Uh, instant trivia. In interesting trivia, guys. All is inappropriate uh, when talking about two. There should be an option for both of them. That's true. And look at that. Boom. If we had three or more, it would be all of them. All right, we're gonna buy ourselves some headgear. We're gonna I almost put accidentally on our, tried to buy another one of the shirts. Put on our. Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, you might be able to. You can sell. I hope not, but you sell it back for a different price. All right, you guys, you got new armor. Let's put it on. Yeah, let's uh, take this Ooh. stuff for a test drive. Stay at the end. Oh, do we have to talk to an old guy to like start this? Quest? No, we already. Uh, I think we already did this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We did that already. So we're gonna rescue a guy from the northern mine. Yep, oh. Yunobu or what? I don't. I think it's Yunobu. Ad Adobe. Adobe. A Yunobu Photoshop. Banana. That's uh, basement dwellers. Close. Comment your own three-syllable word below. That sounds sort of, but not exactly like Yunobu. A boo boo. <laughs> a boo -boo. <laughs> 
I guess that's not one three syllable word. I love these guys. I love throwing a bomb at them the because birds. when they suck it in, they chew on it and they look so funny going doing their <laughs> thing. Man, I tell you, they really should have let you um, register deer and bears as animals. For real. And those birds. As they should have let you wear those red those birds and those rhinoceros things. What birds? The birds that were up here, the little two legged ostriches or whatever. Oh. Okay. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Mark. laughs> I like how we don't actually technically ever have to upgrade our Sheikah Slate. Yeah, we're like, making it work without the game. it. We need all the original Sheikah Slate stuff to get off the plateau. and But then that's it. You don't have to upgrade any of it. Do you know where we're supposed to be going here? Uh, no. That way, I think. You're using up your Master Sword. I feel like this one is just well. Luckily, that one recharges, eh? Um, I yeah. Feel like once it's used up, I feel like this one teaches you how to use it. It doesn't really open up anything important, but we need to go the. Really? Oh, dude, you're a bad shot. Let me tell you. It's okay. his first day. I'm gonna grab an ice. Actually, we should save. Well, doesn't matter. We don't have one anyway. So we should get an ice. Save weapon. our ice sword. Or not? Yeah, because it's like insta death for all those fire. Baddies. I broke it on a moblin in Hyrule Castle a couple episodes ago. That's right. That was fun. I like Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle is fun. It's gonna be fun to, uh... Well, that topaz would have been nice to have. Get there. Oh well. Nothing topaz is forever. That was supposed to be nothing lasts forever. A ladder! Nothing lasts a ladder. <laughs> Woo! Except the ladder. Whoa! <laughs> I think I went to bed too Jeez. late last night. Or I woke up at four, dude. Why, oh. why do you do that on basement days? <laughs> it's weird. It's like this weird, like, uh, I can't control it. My circadian rhythm is like, you're going to have to stay up late tonight, so no more sleeping for you. Ted's circadian rhythm is, I'm going to sleep for 17 years and then annoy everyone around me. <laughs> <laughs> for a season. Uh, just try launching it. And could, see if it does the right thing. I could tell you right now, it's not gonna. It's gonna just go into nowhere. Okay. Well, don't hit that thing twice just to move it Boom! away from its original Blew spot, the hole? and then back to its original Skull. spot before deciding. Yeah, I definitely won't do that. I promise. Yeah. Why do you wake up early on basement days? Uh, well, you know what this means. This means later when we're playing Super Mario Odyssey, you're, you're gonna, gonna be, be randomly and uh, not paying attentionly nah. changing the camera while I'm trying to no, do precise platforming. No, I've never basement dwellers. When have I done that? Comment it, below. Timestamp. Hashtag. When I've done that? Because <laughs> it has definitely happened. This one, I think I just need it. Don't post the link though. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Those all go. This all is like those. one of the plate. Like, one of the only places you can blow up like actual. Uh, those stands. Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You know, like it structures. makes me wonder if you could do it without the thing. Like, if you just got over there and threw a bomb at it, would it blow up? Is it like a different kind of stand that blows up, or is it a scripted event that only this? I think it's a scripted event. Cause. It's that, that would be. be my suspicion too. But it would actually be pretty cool if you could just get over there with a bomb and blow it up that way, and not technically have to use this thing. Okay, we need to shoot this one twice. Is over there, you see that little lava thing? Mm -mm. Boom. See, that opened that thing up. Whatever mm. is inside. I think it's chest. Oh, it's a wind tunnel thing. Oh, it's a blasty gust. Let's go and get this treasure chest while we're here. There was a kid that I knew in elementary school whose last Ooh, name was a... Gust. Really? Yeah, he That's was cool. He was a. Okay. These are rare in elementary school, but he was popular and kind to everyone. It was just a 26 bow. We don't need that. Maybe not everyone, but he was kind to me, and I was definitely not popular. Really? Were you like a a nerd? A I... geek? Or a dweeb? Uh, I Kind of a oh, dweeb, yeah. I think. Like, I liked what I liked, and I didn't care to pretend to, like, be... I love, the, I love this. Like uh, uh, uh. He speaks English, or whatever language, too. Oh, yeah, he actually has, like, voice acting. Help me! Ayuda! <laughs> what do we have it on right now? I think we have it on Italian? <laughs> uh, does it change? Where does it change? Where does what change? We, the do we need the to... spoken language. I think you could... Yeah. Oh! 
Let's just leave it. You didn't remember that? Let's yeah. just leave it. That's I couldn't I remember thinking. if that was the the written language that had to go to the title screen or not. Okay, so we got to shoot this thing. Got to shoot it. I bet you this one shoots it. That looks like right. That looks like correct. But yeah, it's nice to find um, uh, a popular kid. Uh, base with dollars. If to, you are a, a popular, popular kid, kid to leech onto. Be nice. No. <laughs> that, that isn't mean to unpopular kids. If you're a popular kid, be nice to people. Even if like they're weird and you don't necessarily want to be friends with them. Hmm. Oh. Who's the smartest one of them all? Nice Ted. Shot. Ted. Ted he is. All, all what? To, to whom are you comparing yourself? Ooh, he's got skills. I'm, I don't know. I'm comparing them to... Who's who's the smartest one of them both? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a proper word for it. If only there was a choice. Way to bring it full circle there, uh, uh, Enchanted Mr. Mirror. Mr. Comedian. All right, let's go talk to him. Progress the story. You guys are progressing the story. I know, Does that even happen? Exciting. We have, Let's face it, we have a lot of fluff episodes where we just run around like idiots. But this is actually like... Getting stuff done. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look how big and strong he is. And his little dweeby voice. It, it sounds like a Japanese person speaking. I was right. It is Banabado. Italian. He's a Goron youth. Um. Uh huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah. Looking for Yonobu. That's me. Da -ba -da -ba -da, with a cannon. He reminds me of the character in. Uh, There's a reward in it for you. The original you do Double Dragon. What was his name? Bobo? A Bobo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Boo Boo. <laughs> All right, so he was that went pretty good? back here. Double Dragon music? Uh, Kind of. I played it only a handful of times. You know that? It was hard. Uh, yes, it is hard. It's I have gotten game. to the end. I've never beaten it. That you know what you know be like a good throwback is me and you play that game. Uh, there's no two players simultaneous. I don't think in uh, Double Dragon one. Right, it's but two has it. I might Jimmy own, and Bimmy. I might own Double Dragon. Yeah, Jimmy and Bimmy. I think that one's Double Dragon one. Yeah, Double Dragon there's one. There's a two player, but it's two player. Uh, alternate. I can't believe Jimmy and Bimmy. <laughs> yeah, way to proofread. It's supposed to be Jimmy and Billy kids. Just in case, in case that you're a little too young for that. So now we gotta go down and talk to Yunobu, right? Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. You gotta go toward the yellow flashing waypoint on your non-pro HUD map. Ah, it's a tiny traveler. He told me all about you. Here's a reward. Hold me closer, tiny traveler. Yes, sweet painkillers. Uh, I mean, no disrespect to Daruk's legacy, but if we're not up there to give that Redania a good walloping, Daruk, you tell me you don't know about Daruk, the Goron champion? Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Oh yeah, we know him. He's the Daruk's soup guy. depression is ready to draw me into a pit of silence and sadness. <laughs> Whoa! What's they have that? their own. They have their own Mount uh, Rushmore over here. Yeah, they have their own like little like happy pumpkin decoration. Well, we're having a memory, guys. Despite the fact that we've never spoken to Impa. And yeah, in case you're just... No you know what? Some people find this series in the middle and they just start watching from there. Oh gosh, and it's true. And then they're like, you guys should uh, do this thing. We're like, we can't do that. Yeah, split or... Uh, hey, uh, we got a comment recently saying, you guys should split the... Each have one Joy-Con for an episode. And I was like, bro, check out our Even Tide Island what? episodes. There it is. Oh, you gotta push the X and then start in order to skip. I was trying to skip that whole time. Right. You have to press a button to get the prompt and then press plus to right. actually skip. I kind of like that, though, because I don't like when I'm watching a cutscene and I'm trying to enjoy it and there's a little option to skip that pops up. I know. Yeah, it is kind of nice that it's optional that it pops that, that, up at all. Yeah, the prompt even comes. Okay. That's the way it should be. Uh, To there. How are we gonna do that? <laughs> I think there's a there's a better way. I definitely went the wrong way the first time I did this, because there is a smart way to go about getting up here. Well, I'm glad we're all benefiting from uh, your mistakes, and and you learning from them. What did they? What did I? What do they say? Like uh, intelligence is learning from your mistakes, and wisdom is learning from others' mistakes. Huh? I heard that once, and I was like that and I thought about it for a while and I was like I don't agree with it <laughs> but it's still uh, 
a good idea I think wisdom to learn is just from <laughs> others' mistakes rather than having to make them yourself and then learning. Right, right. I I think in general wisdom is just about learning from mistakes. Yeah. Of others and yourself. It's Intelligence allowing, is more about learning stuff. Yeah, it's allowing your experiences <laughs> to uh, positively shape you. Whether they were good or bad experiences. Yeah. Right? Like, um, I bought my wife flowers and she kissed me on the lips. Good experience. Do that again. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, and I mean, that's a pretty... That's a pretty easy one. Uh, I bought your wife flowers and she just looked at me weird. And yeah, said, Give true. these to your wife. And I said, you know what? I, that, that was my plan. I just wanted to ask you if you thought they were good. <laughs> I was I was trying to get like your opinion. On hey, what do you flowers. think of these? Um, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you buy those? Cub Sweet. Foods. Cub Foods is a grocery store. In case you're not from uh, an area with Cub Foods grocery store. I feel store. like it's a Minnesota only thing. Oh, uh, geez, there's rocks. No, that's not true. There was one in Colorado. Uh, really? Yeah, and um, wow, my I'm impressed. My buddy got banned from it. <laughs> what did he do? This is a great story. I'm so excited. He belly flopped onto a table of strawberry shortcake cakes. You know those yellow round cakes that you buy for strawberry. Was shortcakes? this for a balls point? It was. Yes, he was. He was uh, trying to increase his points in the balls club. That that's a very good guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. <laughs> so. <laughs> He's kind of a he's he's not super tall and he's a little heavy. So he's kind of roundish. <clears throat> he's kind of the shape of a Goron. <laughs> and uh he, <clears throat> he he came run like this table was a display table that was like the first thing you saw when you went in the store. Don't use up all them yellow hearts. Oh, too late. <clears throat> uh, Jeez. And so he had to start his run from the parking lot when we we offered him points in this club that we were a part of. Where everyone kept track of each other's points and all that. And, uh, so he came running from the parking lot, and then he had to wait for, like, the automatic sliding doors to open. So he was just sort of a Goron jogging in place. And then the doors <laughs> went, and opened up. And then he trotted back up to speed and ran, ran, ran. And then he jumped, and he landed on all these, like, cellophane-wrapped golden cakes. And, uh, he, he jumped, and he went level, and he flopped down, and we heard, like... Pop, pop, pop. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. <laughs> wow. And before, and then we just started shopping because we needed to go grocery shopping. <clears throat> this, it was, it's not, I'm not super proud of it, but it happened and I'm laughing at it because it is funny. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of dumb stuff that sometimes people you do and you don't experiment really. <laughs> with in high school or college or whatever. It's like the equivalent of stealing, except you don't even get something good out of it. Well, you get humor, I guess. But by the well, yeah, and I'm telling the story now. But That's by the true. time we left the store, we were uh, the group was confronted by a manager, and uh, she singled out my buddy, whose nickname was Hershey. That's not his real name, but we called him Hershey. <laughs> Hershey Gust. You got weird friends, dude. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he he, he was uh, not allowed to come back to that store <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> So, hey, you. The rest of us were welcome, though. <laughs> I love how he's the bullet. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I remember I remember that. I remember thinking that that was pretty awesome. And you can, like, fire him at the wrong thing. Did that this fire him original. automatically? No, I shot him. Oh. I was going to say it, like, right when it got to place it fired. And that's how good I am, Peter. It's well, how good I am at this game. Yeah, you are. You know what? I, gosh, you know what I want? What do you want? A cough drop. Ooh, that sounds nice. Are you under the weather? My, uh, I felt fine, and then, uh, then my my throat felt sore. Spell the word weather. W can you use it in a T-H-E-R? Wrong. Or W-E-A-T-H-E-R. Use it in a sentence. I don't know whether the weather will be nice today. <laughs> and a hot plate. Okay. And a hot plate? Oh, that must be from a later season. I was quoting The Simpsons. You are? You, yes. It's the episode where Lisa uh, runs in the spelling bee and that, and, uh, that she, she runs in or she, well, she should run for the, yeah, she, she competes in the spelling bee. You guys, we're here at Varudanya. Yeah, hey, I don't know that one. You guys, doesn't this face look like the Demogorgon from Stranger Things? Oh, uh, spoilers. Whoa. But also, yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Speaking of spoilers, did you guys see Star Wars yet? I know you didn't yet, Peter. I have not, and I've heard mixed reviews. Well, the, whoever said it was bad, they're dumb. Um, one of them is a highly respected friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't respect him that much. <laughs> no. I, uh... I actually do, but, he, you know, he's everyone's got their own opinions or whatever, but right. he's like, eh, I wasn't really impressed with this one. Uh, man. And he was looking forward to it, you know. For me, oh, a wink, let's do <laughs> mind powers. Mind powers, wow, you mean, like, real-life telepathy? I didn't know you Hylians could do that sort of thing these days. Are you transmitting yet? What the? Oh, yeah, you I'm not receiving anything Goro. over here. Let's hurry and decide what the signal will be, Goro. I liked this place. I never really mm. liked the... Just pick Whistle. I know, I know, I know. I just I didn't pick the other weird ones the first time I did this. I, I liked... I liked this area. I like the Gorons. I don't really like the hot area in most Zelda games. You know how, like, there's sort of the stereotypical few... There's a hot area, areas. there's a cold yeah. area, there's a wet area. I'm never really a huge fan of the hot areas in general. But I really like the Gorons. The old one with the pirate patch calls you Tiny Traveler, and this guy calls you Goro. And I just, I don't know, I liked all the, like, nicknames for Link. It's pretty cool. Hey, did I tell you about, um... Uh, Linda being a combination of Link and Zelda, and how funny that is to me. And how I'll never look at the name Linda the same. I had this realization. Oh, Way to go. He was Link. in the... What's gonna happen? I actually never got caught in my game. It just, like, sends you back to the beginning, I think. Run! Oh, he freaks out and backs up. Oh, that's not bad. And, and the volcano. And you gotta drops. be... But you're okay. in a pretty safe spot there. Okay, 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 okay. That makes sense. So we'll just wait for it. Yeah, he finds like a safe zone on his own, but always backwards. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I love how he goes. Wow, <laughs> that didn't count. Okay, it must have been a funny angle. <laughs> it was a funny angle. It was a funny angle. Uh, but yeah, somebody commented something about combining the names Link and Zelda and getting like Zink. Link. <laughs> and you're like, or wait, no, Linda. Zank? Yeah. How funny is that? Because that's just a real name. Where are you going? I'm trying to whistle. What? Well, why are you going up there? I'm, I'm trying to get myself out of the the way. This is how I did it, actually. So you I didn't climbed? need to be on the... Yeah, I didn't need to be on the trail. I just needed him to be on the trail. Oh. So this way, I never got caught by the sentries. Interesting. And so... Do you always have to do things unconventionally? Is that just part of who you are? I'm I am maybe gonna call bull plop on your claim here. I I because don't I stayed remember. on the path and it works great and you're Where not are and you? it's not working. Seriously? Come on. <laughs> I okay. I know for a fact I did not do it quote unquote conventionally. Why not? I didn't know the right way to do it. Oh. I mean it's. I'm not trying to say like, oh, why didn't you just do it the right way? Attack up. That was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I swear, Ted is a much more thoughtful gamer this is, when we're not recording. I don't know what's going on. Why is this so hard this time? Maybe because you got up at 4 a.m. No, that's a not it. No, no. Day. That's definitely not it. I love how okay. I love how well we support each other. I think I was just basement. I think I was just more careful the first time. Yeah, and, I know. and now that it, cause it tends know. to happen because it's like high stakes because you've right. never done this before and you don't know how bad it's gonna be. Either. Familiarity breeds. So, what? I'll say what I did, which is the conventional way, just in case that proves helpful. Just in case your time-saving way ends up costing more time, and you decide you want to try it the conventional way. <laughs> I just studied, I just watched the patterns of these guys, where they began and where they ended, and then, um, like, went from one safe spot to the next safe spot with him stopped, and then whistled him to progress. Yeah. Until he got to my safe spot. The spot I knew to be safe. This, this you had to go up, right? 
Um, I think I took that out. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe this is what I remember doing. I remember not being on the trail for part of it and like killing these guys and thinking I was so clever. And apparently that was scripted. You have to do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> apparently. Hey, Ooh. a gear. And a shaft screw. And a shaft screw. And a shaft. And a hot plate. And so have you plate. not seen the episode of The Simpsons where, where Lisa does the spelling bee? There are a lot of episodes of The Simpsons I haven't seen because I stopped watching them on TV. And uh, I saw a bunch for the first time on DVD. But then they stopped releasing DVDs. But then... <laughs> oh, oh! I almost they, rolled that rock right down into the lava. Oh, I saw. <laughs> I was getting ready with my face palm, so it'd be loud enough for the microphone to hear. You guys, Peter has a uh, red handprint on his on his forehead right now, yeah. and he hasn't hit his head once today. <laughs> that's just from the basement. Yeah, it's just worn. It's just permanent. It's a birthmark, and I'll thank you not to stare. <laughs> yeah, it's not actually from him hitting himself in the head. It's just <laughs> I'm like Gorbachev. Yeah, he's a character in Double Dragon. I was gonna say, I don't know... Gorbachev? Yeah, I don't know who Gorbachev oh. is. He's like a Russian... diplomat. Oops. Or something from the, Oops. the good old days. Of, oh, okay. Uh, of like the Cold War threat. Comrade. <laughs> Did I shoot him the wrong way? Oh, Maybe. I gotta shoot Varadanya With this. Correct. Okay. Might as well turn this thing while he's coming back. You should definitely equip a different weapon, I think. In, in my opinion. Although you're playing. Well, this is what I'm thinking. The Master Sword heals itself. Yeah, but only after it breaks. So it's not like it's constantly healing itself, right? That's true. Um. Uh. Yeah, but he's got like a red mark on his forehead. Oh, okay. Did the guy get back? Yeah, he did. He, he hopped right back. So in. did you shoot? I shot it the wrong direction. And there we go. Boom. Wait, what happened just now, though? You, like, I missed a bomb. I, oh, you missed the cannon? Yeah. With the bomb? Yeah. I see. Haha! -ha. Well, hey, you guys, but next time in the basement, we're going to have to oh, uh, finish smokes. this up. Yeah, we're uh, we're going to get to the top of the old volcano and see what happens. I'm pretty excited about that. Are you guys excited? Leave a comment below if you're excited. I'm pretty excited, but I will not <laughs> comment below. And hey, basement dwellers, we're so glad you joined us for today. Uh, hope that you are having yourselves a fine winter, a fine day today. And uh, if you're sad that this video is over, you can find some other basement videos that maybe you haven't seen yet. Give those a try. Yeah, there are over 1,000 of them. Yes, and uh, that's true. And until next time, basement dwellers, uh, we think that you are more entertaining and variety-filled than uh, Janis Joplin in a clown suit <laughs> in, in the, the basement. basement. Who's Janis Joplin?